something no one can catch anymore is the train from Queenscliff to Geelong. The line operated for almost 100 years before closing in 1976. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the legendary Blues Train! <laughs> These days, you can catch the views from Queenscliff to Drysdale on a different type of rail trip. So how does the journey work? Well, it's kind of like musical chairs. 200 people on the blues train, there's 50 in each carriage, and each time the train stops, everybody swaps carriages to see another act. Local resident Hugo T. Armstrong combined his love for music with his passion for Queenscliff, and the blues train was born. The first night, I played harmonica. The opera singer sang Aretha Franklin songs, and we just made it up as we went yeah, along. We had go. no idea what we were doing. And here we are 18 years later, and uh, one of the top tourism events in Victoria. How good is this? I'm going to get this meal down, then it's time to boogie. It's no surprise that this is a hit. Blues music was invented on steam trains in America's South, the tempo fitting perfectly with the clickety-clack of the train's rhythm. Before you know it, it's time to move on to a new set of tracks. All aboard the next blues carriage. Woo! You don't have to be a huge blues fan to have a great night. If you're a fan of the Rolling Stones or Aretha Franklin, or if you've seen the Blues Brothers, you really should get a ticket to ride. Oh